Hey guys, welcome back to Stable Genius. Today I am reviewing the Finline Flexible Philly Grazing Muzzle. This whole set, halter, muzzle, and extra padding, runs around $120. Um, the halter is special because it has stitching on the outside of the halter that actually helps keep everything in place. So your, your little tentacles will not move around. So you just run a zip tie through the stitching, just like so, and everything is on the outside. And you have this extra padding to help prevent chafing, make it more comfortable for your horse. Um, and so far, my horses really like it. Um, so the halter is a breakaway halter. This leather strap would easily break away if a horse were to get in trouble and that's replaceable. Um, and the padding, of course, is replaceable. It just simply Velcros on, nice and easy. And if you were to have a naughty horse, like my horse Norman, who managed to either pull on this and break the zip tie, or maybe he snipped the zip tie itself. I'm not sure what he did, but one day I found Cedar out with just one flopping around like a rhinoceros. So all I had to do is replace the zip tie. This is a close up of the actual halter. I'm just gonna snip off one of the zip ties so you can get a better look of how it comes to you. So this is actually, this whole lining system is separate. So it just Velcros on and it is spaced appropriately um, so that the stitched areas that are your zip tie keepers, so you can see your zip tie fits right through there. So the stitching keeps everything from shifting around and I found this to be a great feature um, I saw this muzzle in action on a halter that did not have this, and you have the zip tie rip wrapping around the back. So maybe that wouldn't have bothered some horses, but I was always worried that this would start to chafe and rub. So I really like this, that um, everything is kept on the outside of the halter. So like I said, these little legs are just floppy so you have to install it and you want to pick kind of maybe try it on your horse and um, they come with little twist ties that you can do like a test and see what holes you need before you actually lock in some zip ties and it comes with some zip ties so that's nice um, not that zip ties are expensive so anyway kind of the trick I used is to go in the top the hole so these I have on one two three so in the top hole, pull it through, go through the stitched keeper area, and then come through the bottom. So I have one, two, three, four, go here. And I kind of spaced them out too, because that's about how much space um, this area is. And just through your zip tie, pull it tight. Like so, easy peasy. And just snip off the extra. No problem. And it comes in two sizes. So you've got a three centimeter, which I thought was appropriate for Cedar. She just needs some weight management. Um, but if you have an insulin resistant or laminitic horse that you're really worried about, they also have a two centimeter hole. A note on safety. Um, Please, please, please introduce muzzles slowly. Uh, if your horse has never worn a muzzle before, be sure to let them get used to it. Make sure that they know how to drink water while they're wearing it. Make sure that they're not gonna go constantly rub their head on a tree or a fence where they could gouge an eye. Um, and make sure that they're not just gonna go sulk and stand in a corner where, you know, if you left for work for eight hours and came back, you might find a horse who hasn't eaten or drinking all day drinking um, you may have you you may have a case of colic on your hands or uh, at the very least dehydration so do please introduce it slowly half hour to an hour at a time until you feel really comfortable you know they're safe you know they're happy and I want to show you one example of a bucket style muzzle that really did not work for us this medieval face bucket um, is it's pretty evil. It is hard, really hard. 
Um, the holes don't really line up right. Her nostrils are up here and these are her breathing holes. Um, the halter doesn't fit well. It's Velcro for safety, but it also comes off so easily. If you have a naughty horse that wants to help the horse that's wearing a muzzle, it will take about 10 seconds for them to undo that Velcro if they find it and boom. Your muzzle's off, your horse is gorging on grass. Also, you know, if it were to get damaged or broken in any way, like if this were to break or something, I don't know how I would fix it. It would basically be a piece of trash afterwards. That bothers me. Um, the flexible filly one, the the muzzles, it, the different pieces are replaceable, which I really like. Okay. So here's Cedar, she's wearing her muzzle. <laughs> she wants to go outside, so I better make this quick. Um, as you can see, it leaves some really big gaps so that she can breathe really well. Um, it's soft and squishy. So she can really move her lips and her jaws very easily. Um, as long as your halter fits well, the muzzle's going to fit well. Um, so you just adjust it by placing it on the different holes so it doesn't hang too low or too close to their face. The padding is really nice. It helps prevent the rubbing. The bucket style one rubbed horribly on the bridge of her nose and underneath her jaw. Um, and she also had to graze in this really weird fashion where she stabbed the ground, got a few bites, and then had to like stab in another place. Um, this one, I find that she really just grazes in a much more natural motion, which I think is much better for them and less stressful for them. I think the sizing runs a little bit large. Um, normally I would buy like an Arab or a small horse for her. I actually had to get a pony halter for her in this. And my boarder's horse normally wears a horse size and he had to have a cob. Uh, we're really happy with it. She doesn't tear her head out at the end of the day. Um, she's happy to have it put on just like any halter. Um, so far, it's I think it's a winner. Uh, we've tried the bucket one, we've tried the nylon webbing ones, which get really wet and gross all the time every time they take a drink of water or if the grass is wet, um, and they start to stink and smell like mildew after a while, so I found I had to wash them all the time. Um, and they also, because of the wetness, would chafe around the nose a lot. <laughs> Excuse you. Uh, this one, just a quick hose or a rinse in a sink and you've freshened it up. Um, so it's it's really nice. It's I highly recommend it. It seems really comfortable for her. She's out typically eight hours a day. She comes in, she has no rub marks. She seems happy. She's not hiding in a corner pouting. So um, it's, it's working really well for us.